Hi guys, so I come to you today from my grandma's house in Fresno. There's my old swing set and my old playhouse. And um, I want to talk to you today about All the King's Men by Robert Penn Warren. So this book, um, I got the audiobook and it was 21 hours long and it took me until yesterday um, driving up to Fresno to finish it. And um, I listened to it like a half hour here and there. I really like the audiobook. Um, this would have been a really long book to get through if I would have actually like read the text. Um, but the audiobook, um, the narrator did the voices and did the accents, um, and it was just kind of entertaining to hear all of these southern accents coming out of my car. It was fun. Um, and um, I read this book because John Green mentioned it in a video um, and it had this really nice quote about going west um, and that's like always the the push in humanity is to go west um, and I'll put the quote down below so you guys can read it too um, and then somebody else like on the listserv said it was the greatest American novel and their favorite book and I was like well maybe I'll give it a try I don't know if anything is going to surpass to Kill a Mockingbird as far as like greatest American novels go, but I mean it was good. Um, it was very American and it did have a lot of that like southern culture. Um, like they use seersucker, like it's probably like the, the book with the most uses of seersucker ever. Um, and they, um, Robert Penn Warren, like he won the Pulitzer um, for both fiction and poetry and you could really tell like this prose was was very poetic and even though like sometimes you didn't agree with what was being said um it really was said well uh, and said in an interesting way and um i do recommend it for just like letting the words wash over you and um listening to it like that grandma's dog's going a little crazy over there okay so um yeah, it uh, it follows the story of, um, the narrator of the story is Jack Burden, um, and he is chronicling the life of, well, the political life of Willie Stark. Um, and then in the middle, it's like a little book within a book where he chronicles the life of Civil War era Cass Mastern, who was another southern dude. So, um, but the main story, Willie Stark's story, takes place in, like, Depression era South, um, and it talks about political corruption and how somebody tries to um, do good, but then it turns out that he's just as corrupt. And it's it's um, very like American in the sense of um, uh, disagreeing with government and um, pointing out all the flaws in our um, in in, the, in our leaders and stuff like that. Um, and I really did like it, but it was really long and probably not as interesting as books that I normally pick, you know, the YA variety. All right. Well, hopefully I'll have a more scripted video for Thursday. Um, but here were my thoughts on All the King's Men by Robert Penn Warren. All right. Bye.